this video, I'm gonna be unboxing, reviewing, and doing a test comparison for the Rode Video Micro on-camera microphone. So what the heck, let's get straight to the unboxing. Trusty pokey stabby if I needs it, but I don't think I will. <laughs> Joke's on me, I will. Knives are scary. Knives don't, knives make me nervous. <laughs> you wanna see some specs and stuff on the back. Uh, I'm gonna cover up any kind of. So there's some stuff on the back you might wanna look at. All in different languages. I didn't feel like reading it. Boxes are hard. Why am I doing an unboxing video? Oh my gracious, the first thing I see is this weird, scary, dead animal looking thing coming out. It's all fuzzy. Um, I ordered a microphone and not like a, uh, a petrified hamster. Unbox it further and we'll take a look at what comes in the plastic. Here is that Rycote Liar mount, which goes right onto your camera foot. Connector, little connector cord, little 3.5 millimeter. These little things that always say do not eat, so don't eat these. And then, you know, you got your handy like instruction manual, quick start guide. That's what we call them. We call them quick start guides. Honestly, the only thing you're gonna need to know is how to plug something in. And I think that's all you're really gonna need to know. But here is the microphone itself. Um, it's covered in a dead cat. Now, I'm not even making a joke there, folks. That is literally what this uh, instrument is called. Okay, and what we got here, folks, this is the microphone itself. Very compact, very small in size. I'm gonna say it's about one, two, about two and a half to three inches in length. Um, but that's legitimately it. It's got a pickup pattern, like a shotgun. So it's gonna come out like this, not get a lot from out here, not get a lot from out here but a lot from in front of the camera, which is totally what I'm looking for. So to test this out, I'm gonna use my Canon T3i, um, whoopsie doodle. Do a couple of quick little comparison tests. I kinda wanna show how to install it a little bit. Uh, it's really easy to do, so. Let's unscrew that, get get the, um, the Rycote liar mount going. Give it some space in there, see I got a little space going. And you just slide it into this foot of the camera here. Slide it in, screw it back down. That will keep, keep everything tight, secure. It's not gonna move. It's not gonna move. See, it's not gonna move. Uh, I don't wanna stress the mount too much, so I just kinda shove it in. And you wanna get it, get it back there enough. So it kinda ends up looking a little bit like that, but so, the easiest and most fun part, plugging it in. <laughs> on my T3i, I've got a microphone jack on the side. It's a three and a half millimeter jack. It's not one of those fancy, uh, you know, XLRs or anything like that. As much as I wish it was, it is not. I need a legitimate video camera for that. Plug the old road in, click. Okie dokes. And that's it, folks. That's set up, it's in, it is plugged in. It's good to go, I could use it right now if I wanted to, if I really wanted to, I would. So why don't I? I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it for you. Let's set up a little test shot. Uh, we'll do one shot with the internal microphone of the camera, and we'll do one shot with the external microphone of the camera. This is a test of the internal microphone on the Canon EOS Rebel T3i DSLR camera. Typical ambient room noise right now. Just got it about maybe three or four feet away from me. Just listen. Okay, test, test over. Now plugging in the microphone. All right, now I am testing the Rode Video Micro microphone on the Rebel T3i. I am still about three to four feet away from the camera and the microphone itself. Uh, same room noise, same ambient stuff, nothing has changed in here. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep talking a little bit, testing the microphone out, and we'll see what the results are.
this is a test of the internal microphone, an in-car test of the internal microphone on the Canon EOS T3i. Now let's switch and put the microphone in and see what that sounds like. Testing the Rode Video Micro microphone on my Canon EOS Rebel T3i uh, DSLR camera. Um, I'm doing a driving test now just to see what kind of effects the car has on it. And then we'll compare it against what the car does to uh, the internal microphone. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hi everybody, just wanted to wrap this video up and give you my summary of everything I've reviewed now and looked at all the videos and all the test clips that I've taken for this uh, video micro microphone. So during my tests I've noticed and after listening back, um, I started to realize that in situations like this, like just like an interview situation, I probably wouldn't recommend using this microphone. If there's not a lot going on, it's gonna pick up all of the background just ambience and like try to amplify it. And that's gonna create this weird static kind of high-end uh, hiss, which is annoying and you could hear it in the test videos where I just tested the room noise, tested the outside. And we'll see what the results are. Here's the big butt, and I'll show you a big old butt, folks. What I started to notice is the more I started to like take the camera and do more action with it and try and like move it around, like if I was taking it around like kind of like how people do videos on YouTube sometime. I don't know, I have no experience with that. That kind of situation, maybe plug it into my cell phone for a YouTube vlog kind of thing. I think it would be perfect. So, I'm gonna test that out next video. I think it'd be perfect for that kind of situation. I'm gonna be using it for probably travel videos, I think, with my, my phone, or even a GoPro. I think a GoPro would be a perfect, uh, camera to use this video micro with. If you were to take that, wanted to do an interview kind of thing, I would not recommend using the video micro for that because you get a lot of hiss. It's not really for that, it's really for about maybe three to four feet away from your subject. Kind of just for travel, kind of just for fun, just to make your, your, your audio sound a lot better on that kind of situation. So that's it, that's my review, my unboxing, my comparison tests, and everything you'd ever need to know about the Rode Video Micro microphone. Pick up, you can pick up your own micro, you can pick up your own video microphone on Amazon if you want to say, I don't know, film a day at the beach, or film a family vacation with your phone and you want the audio to be really great. That would be perfect. Find it on Amazon, folks, maybe I'll put a link down below. I don't know how this works. Click subscribe and thumbs up. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye.